Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the world headquarters for Ford in Detroit, Michigan. And of course, we are getting special access to an all new vehicle from that premium luxury brand known as Lincoln. This is it right next to me. This is your 2024 totally redesigned Lincoln Nautilus. But before we get into this special reserve trim with some new technology and fine touches, let's talk about what's going on here. Lincoln, we all know Lincoln when we think about the OG of luxury full-size SUVs, that mighty Lincoln Navigator. Well, guess what? Lincoln has expanded their lineup to really bring not only that top, what we know as that full-size luxury with the Navigator, but then we also have their other models going from the Navigator to the Aviator, the Nautilus, and of course, the Course Air. Now, what's wonderful about this whole transition is that Lincoln is really moving towards a specific touch to really bring a new feel, a new vibe to their lineup, and this Nautilus is really showing some of that direction. Now, when it comes to premium luxury SUVs, there's lots to choose from. And a brand that was once known for making luxury sedans has now transitioned with their lineup of SUVs and crossover SUVs. The Nautilus, though, actually did not start off life as the Nautilus. It actually was known as the Lincoln MKX. And in 2019 is when it transferred to the Nautilus name. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this all new Nautilus, see what's different, see what's special, and see what Lincoln is bringing for 2024. Let's go ahead and dive in. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice that this particular trim is the Nautilus Reserve, and it has the jet package. If you haven't seen our review of the Corsair that we did with the jet package, I'm gonna leave that one at the end of this review so you could really get some more of those fine details. But at the front of the business, we see an all new fresh face. Look at what they've done with the headlight housing, everything blacked out on the interior. Of course, you're gonna have your LED projector beam headlights. And then what you'll notice is the use of the daytime running lamp in a very special way. What they've done is starting with these parallel LED lighting on the corner, bringing it down, and then sliding all the way across to the other side of the vehicle. This is not only gonna bring a nice special lighting effect, but also a brand identifier, and it really looks crisp, clean, classy, modern, and sporty, all wrapped in together. Now, working your way down, of course, with that jet package, you're gonna notice some black accents. The way that they bring the lines and it kind of waterfalls into that lower section, of course, we're gonna have functional corner air curtains to help generate that airflow, cut down on drag. And then as you work your way down, one thing you'll notice if you look very, very closely, it's not just about gloss black. They went ahead and kind of broke up the definition a little bit here by bringing some of that metallic dark gray finish all the way across that front lip area really gives it, like I said, something that if you look at the fine details, you're gonna see that they really left no stone unturned with bringing the fine touches. Now, of course, when you come across that iconic grill shape, it's all about Lincoln, that premium luxury brand from the history going all the way back to the Continental, the Mark 8, the Navigator, and of course this new Nautilus. I love the way they have these intricate little studded areas on the grill. It's got, if you notice, a little bit of a concave flow to it. And then Lincoln does something very, very smart. They hide their forward-facing camera very cleanly at the base of the Lincoln badge, which is illuminated. Very clear, very crisp. On the lower side, you're gonna have full functionality and you'll notice that they take that same crisscross pattern with the little separated studs along the bottom, right above that lip area. But definitely, like I said, comparing this to the Nautilus previous generation and definitely going back to the MKX, you could see that new modern feel that Lincoln is going in. Now, when you get up onto that hood, notice how it just kind of curves down cleanly, meets nicely with the grill at the top. And then what I like is the way they kind of gave it some flow without just leaving it just flat. You'll notice in the center, you have this nice little dip as it curves, 
and then goes towards the windshield. And then as we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire stuff. Now you are gonna have, of course, different options for different size wheels, depending on what trim you go with. With this particular one, what are we working with? We're working with these 22 inch wheels. Absolutely stunning. Gloss black, I love these aluminum style inserts here with those parallel lines. Of course, spinning down the road, these things are gonna attract tons of attention. If you're wondering what type of rubber do we have around these wheels, 255 on the width, 45 series sidewall on that 22 inch wheel. What's great is that all wheel drive comes standard. So you're gonna get all wheel drive and there's gonna be two powertrain options, which I'm gonna tell you about in a few short seconds. But before we talk about the powertrain, what I wanna point out is they went ahead, reworked the suspension. There will be, of course, availability especially on the reserve trim for that adaptive suspension. All four corners, they reworked the chassis to really give you that quiet flight experience that Lincoln is known for. Very smooth, very comfortable, very relaxed. Now, one of my favorite things that they did is they took that beautiful body color and put it all over that fender opening. So no flat black, no gloss black around the fender opening on this reserve, all color match looking good. Now, when we rise up onto the hood, can't open the hood right now because we are at the world headquarters and they're giving us special permission to bring you this vehicle, but I can talk about the power train options. So your standard engine is gonna be a two liter inline four turbocharged engine that's putting out 250 horsepower and it's mated it to an eight speed automatic. Well, guess what? There is something new for 2024. It is a hybrid setup. So what you're looking at is gonna be a two liter inline four turbocharged engine. And one thing that Lincoln wanted me to make sure to stress is it's not the same engine as the standard engine. So they have a specific two liter turbocharged engine that's mated to a hundred kilowatt electric motor. One electric motor produces 310 horsepower in this Lincoln Nautilus and it's mated to a CVT transmission. So that's something that's gonna be new for 2024, and like I said, at the end of the day, all of them have all-wheel drive. Now, as we work down the side, you'll notice, you'll see that trim gets picked up right on that front fender. Look at the way that they took where the hood closes with the top of the fender, and that almost becomes its, almost its own body line just by those two pieces meeting together. Very, very fine on the details. You'll see that excellent fit and finish, and you'll also see how gloss black with the gray and that Nautilus name. I think that's probably one of the best things that Lincoln could have ever done is they moved away from the letters, the MKX, the MKZ and all that good stuff. And now we have some really classy names. Like I said, starting with the Navigator and then of course the entry way into the Lincoln brand, the Corsair. But one of the things that I think was very bold of Lincoln is how they took the cladding on the side and actually the trim and brought it all the way almost to the end of the front doors. It really gives it a unique look and helps it stand out from the rest of the SUV crowd. We have that beautiful two-tone, the gloss painted black up top. Of course, on your mirror caps, you got that gloss painted black with your turn singles, 360 degree cameras. And I like the way as you work your way down the side, look at what they did from the Lincoln Continental you actually have the door handles built into that window trim. Really shows that clean style as it goes down the side of the vehicle. Up top, you got your roof rails nice and close. They're not protruding too high. And then working our way towards the back of the vehicle, it gives you a nice bend. There's a nice flow from the front to the back. Look at the way they did the trim and just brought it into that rear quarter window. You'll notice those parallel lines in that rear quarter window glass and then that wonderful line that comes perfect into the rear taillights. Now, as we wrap it around, just like up front, it's all about those parallel lines. Look at the way they did the lighting at the back, very sleek, very trim, all the way across. Really gonna be one of those things that helps it stand out. And then one of my favorite parts is that there's no wiper that's showing. The wiper is nicely tucked in. That really allows you to kind of take in the whole presence of the Nautilus nice long roof spoiler with your third brake light cleanly placed and then as we work our way all the way down check it out just like up front 
the Lincoln name spelled out so much history going back to the early 1900s with this brand. And then of course, what they did was very classy touch. Instead of just putting like some kind of fake exhaust or something like some of these other brands are doing, you have those same parallel lines with the gray finish all the way across. But what's nice is, is that we actually have two different Nautiluses here. This one is the reserve. Right over my shoulder is the black label. So what I wanna do is, is I showed you the exterior one. Let's go ahead, let's dive into this black label and check out the all new interior. All right, guys, we're inside this 2024 Lincoln Nautilus Black Label. I really kind of wanted to share both of these in one video in a nice quicker way to give you the personalities of both. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I can't wait to be able to see this in person. How much is it? No official pricing yet, but expect, obviously, pricing to be very competitive against the competition that Lincoln is going up against. But let's see what is new, what's different, and what's unique about this Nautilus to the door panels. You're gonna notice all new style and attention to detail. The stitching, the two-tone, and if you notice, that two-tone is an all new color shade for 2024, and the way that they did all the stitch work and even the interior lighting, you'll notice in that black, that gloss black area, the red parallel lines, that changes color. There's different ambient colors. That changes color because the door is open to warn people, it's red. And then there's different colors you could choose from. The Revel sound system with all of that great aluminum style to the speaker grill covers and that premium sound level with the silver finish. And then as you'll notice, the door handle on the interior, very clean, design. Instead of doing buttons or anything, you have a nice little lever in that door handle pull area. Door pocket, same thing. Look at the way the shape of the door pocket fits perfectly with that speaker grill cover. You could easily put a Detroit foot-long sub in there, no problem, straight from your favorite deli. Now, going from the door panel to the dash, the same two-tone style, like the way on this black label, how we're able to show this nice dark red finish with the stitch work. And then one thing you'll notice automatically is 48 inches of uninterrupted screen. Don't worry, we're gonna show you all the details when we hop back in to that reserve trim that we started with. But 48 inches of screen, you got your control panel. Of course, you have all your toggle switch gear for your transmission, whether it's the eight-speed automatic or the CVT even real glass for your rotary drive control knob. And then you'll notice that bronze finish, slide it open, wireless charging, a place for your two Twinkies, luxury Twinkies, of course, two USB-Cs, two cup holders, close it up, the leather, the stitching. And then one thing that's new is the diffuser. Three different scents. It's actually gonna diffuse from the openings in here to really create that serene, experience. You're in a stressful day, you could go and have those scents and you can actually control how strong the scent is. So you, if you want just a mild, you could do that. And then the seats, the Alcantara material, the leather, the stitching, over 20 different adjustable ways with your massage settings, with your electric seat controls on both sides. Up top, you got that ginormous panoramic sunroof and the Alcantara. But let's talk more about the interior on the reserve, let's go check out all the tech details. All right guys, come on into this reserve trim. This really is one that's standing out to me, not only from the exterior color and all the appointments, but definitely on the interior. Now, like I said, Here's where I really wanna dive a little deeper into the new technology that Lincoln is working with because nobody else is doing something like this. So like we said, up top, you have a 48 inch screen from one side to the other. And they really wanted it to flow nicely like water from one end of the vehicle to the other into the door panels. And this is really gonna take care of a few things. First of all, it's gonna allow you to keep your vision nice 
and high and looking forward. So that eliminates the need for a traditional head up display because of where everything is located. And what's wonderful is this is all customizable. You have different modes, you have different uh, uh, experiences for the lighting, different ambient lighting, different information that you can put up there. Now, the great thing is instead of using like a, a conventional trackpad or a mouse pad, Lincoln did something very unique. You have an 11.1 inch screen that normally is where you would find your infotainment system. This is going to control everything that's happening up top. So, of course, very easily, very intuitive, just like other systems from Lincoln. You can bring up your full map down here, which of course has your navigation up top. You'll notice the ability to have all these different apps. And what's great is just like your, your cell phone, you can easily move these things around from one area to another. I think this is where people are gonna feel a little bit more comfortable with this technology. And then when you look, you could go into all your different readouts and bring exactly what you want, where you want it. So if you want that information up top, check it out, there's our tire pressure. And of course, because we're not driving it right now, it's not displaying that information, but very easily. How about weather? You wanna know what's going on in Detroit? You drop it up there, boom, there's our screen with the weather. It's looking like a great day to go for a drive here in Detroit. And then on top of that, like I said, you then have the ways to adjust what you're seeing when it comes to the actual screen settings. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into settings here and then you're gonna scroll a little bit. You can see how very intuitive it is. You hit display. And then now here's where you're gonna be able to then go into your different screens. And what we do is we hit theme. It takes a few seconds, that's okay. Remember this is a pre-production. Right now we're Inspire. I hit engage. And then what that's gonna do is that's gonna actually then change the screens. So now we have a totally different feel depending on what personality you're feeling that day to allow you to really have a unique experience. But the best part is, like I said, at the end of your hard work day, once you get home, you could go into that serene setting and where everything kind of calms down. You got the massage seat settings. You got these seats that are very, very comfortable. And then of course, lots of room. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind this flat top steering wheel in our new Nautilus. Hey guys, business time behind the wheel of this Nautilus Reserve. Lori's threading the needle, getting us access to the driver's side. You're gonna see a nice aluminum sill plate. Great size on the pedal box with a beefy dead pedal. And then check out the storage underneath this floating style of that bridge style of a center console easily put, I would say, hmm, two full-size Detroit pretzels there, extra mustard on top. You do have three memory seat settings for the driver's seat, so you could actually go out and find two new friends here in Detroit and let them borrow your Nautilus, and they won't screw up your seat setting, and they could have their own. But I'm six feet tall, plenty of room in here, very unique steering wheel. They're calling this the flat top steering wheel, and there's a reason for it that I'll show you in a second. But of course you have the multi-piece leather, really gives you that fine feel, the Lincoln badge, and then of course you have your flat black on the switch gear. Now it is electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And the reason why it's got this flat top is so you could clearly see the gauges. You don't ever have to look through this opening. It's nice and clear, and that's why, like I said, there's no need for a head-up display. And what's really interesting is that the controls on the flat black steering wheel actually show up here. So here I am moving my finger around on the steering wheel controls, and it shows up on the screen. That's the new technology that we're talking about. Look over here on this side. This is where you're going to control your different... Uh, um, cruise control. Remember, this has Lincoln's updated blue cruise, which is that semi-autonomous driving. And then you're also going to have all of your safety features all wrapped into one. But you know what? It's not just about the people up front that are getting the special new luxury touch. It's the people in the back seat. Let's get back there to see what they're going to be getting right, into. Guys, back seat time. And the great thing is look at the door panel for the passengers. They get that same great style, all the stitching, 
the aluminum speaker grill covers, even that ambient lighting on the door panel looking very sleek and very classy. As you come into the interior, what you're gonna notice, nice smooth finishes. You got a large, super large pocket. You could actually put a couple copies of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea in this Nautilus. And then as you come to the rear command center, you have your two AC vents, that wonderful stitching. And then I like the way, just like the seat controls up front, everything has a nice feel to it. Three stages of heated seats, no ventilated seats, which is gonna be a zong. So they should have had some ventilated seats back here. But when it comes to the room, you'll notice that with my door closed, it actually has the blue lighting. A little hard to pick up on camera, but that's the ambient lighting where you could change the colors. I feel really comfortable in here, not only with the amount of headroom, even with the panoramic roof, but also the way that they structured the seats, the stitching and everything has a nice kind of give to it, which allows you to feel good. And then one thing down below, you'll notice is you open up this little compartment and that's where you're gonna have all of your USB-Cs down below. And then it covers very, very nicely, very clean. Pull down the armrest, look at this, nice and soft. This is where you're gonna have your two cup holders. And then of course, when it comes to opening this, you have some felt lining, and this is where you could put your new chewy Skittles. So you can see the rainbow, and you have your Skittles back here. But look at the seats, the leather, the microfiber suede material, the stitching. It's all consistent throughout the whole vehicle, even the way they kind of shape the seats. It looks like there's more surface area, and they feel really, really good. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area and see what we could haul in this new Nautilus. All right, guys, we're back over on the reserve with the jet package. One thing that makes the Nautilus a real standout is that, remember, it's a two-row SUV. So what that means is you get a maximum amount of volume to the back area. I like the way not only do you have a great amount of width, but also the height. You'll notice on the driver's side, you're going to have your 12-volt and you're gonna have the ability to where you just push the buttons to fold down the rear seats, which are a 60-40 split. Even the way they have a nice nook notched out for two boxes of Twinkies on both sides. And of course, you have that great sense of not only being able to carry your passengers with a lot of volume, but also the cargo volume. Even the smart things, like the way the cargo floor is just a tad lower than where this upper portion is so that when you're going shopping, you're not going to have those things fall out. And they even have the Nautilus name nicely stamped into the black, the back area with the aluminum on both sides, which gives it that extra nice touch. But I know you want to go for a little drive in this Nautilus. I'm looking forward to going for a drive, but they are kicking us out here at the Ford World headquarters because we have more to do here in Michigan. So let's go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, guys, it's been an amazing time. My first visit to the world headquarters for Ford here in Detroit, Michigan. We got to thank the whole Lincoln team for allowing us access to the all new Nautilus. Let me know what you think. Has Lincoln done the business with the fine details, with the technology and the two engine options to make this the best new luxury SUV to buy. Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, we need to thank the hardest working camera person in the whole universe, Lori working that camera like a champ. Show us some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.